So in this video, we're going to be looking at recursion and financial modeling, in this case, question seven of the 2018 Further Mass Exam 2 from the NHT one. So let's look at question seven. It's a four marker. So Rosalind invested some money in the savings account, it's compounding um, annually, annually. Oops, can't speak properly, can I? Um, and so if I'm compounding annually here, Okay, it chooses calculated and paid at the end of each year. Let VN, so it yeah, paid at the end of each year. Let VN be the amount of money in Rosalind's saving counting dollars after eight years. That's sort of a normal thing we got there. The recursive calculations below show the amount of money in her account after one and two years. So how much money did Ros Rosalind initially invest? So when we look at that, that is immediately going to be V0. And we can see V0, V0 is um, there. So our answer is I should have said that's V0. So all you need to put here is 5,000. You'd have to write V0, but I'm just showing it to highlight it. So you just put 5,000. So how much in, in interest in total did she earn by the end of the second year? Well, her interest was after V2. Um, so you're basically looking for the difference between V2 and V0. So after V2, it was 5512.50. That's that V there, minus uh, 5,000, because that's what V0 was. And that gives you an answer of 512 and 50 cents. So you, you probably write something along the lines of I equals 512, whoops, with the dollar sign there, 512 and 50 cents. Um, so now let VN the amount of money in her account in dollars after in years recurrence relation so in a recurrence relation we have to write it in a very specific format and so the format we need is basically going to be v0 equals a number in this case we know that that v0 is 5000 comma and then we're going to write vn plus one because that's the term following on from vn that's the recurrent term if you want to call it that equals um, VN, because we that's what the VN term would be, times 1.05. We can actually see that up here, what that would be, okay? Um, but that's how you could sort of show that calculation there. All right. So that's what you're after in terms of that recurrence relation. So D, let's have a look at D. Her plan is to use her savings to pay for a birthday. The holiday costs six grand. What's the minimum annual percentage rate um, would have been requ required for Rosalind to have savings six hours in after two years? So this is not using any of the terms we used in the previous part of the question. Okay, and just keep in mind, this is not a recurrence, not a recurrence problem. All right, not a recurrence. So. Let's keep in mind what equation you need. So it's going to be Vn equals V0 times Rn. Now remember, R is 1 plus, uh, so remember R is a compounding factor over 100. And what it asked for here was the um, annual percentage rate. All right. And so that is our R. Okay, so that's what we actually want to solve. So keep that in mind. All right, so what we want to do here is we've got our V0. We know, what our, we know what our V0 is, it's five grand. We know what our VN is, is because that's the six grand, because that's what our final thing is. All right, we know what our number of, um, so we've got our N, we know what N is, because that's the number of times, um, the number of, interest bearing periods and it's it's done um it's done yearly so when there's two years so n is going to be equal to two so in this case i would use solve so let's bring the solve equation up okay so here is the solve equation you, you could put into your calculator and as i like to say solve is your friend in these where you can use it so this is our vn our V0, our N, okay? As we've highlighted, we're solving for R, 
Okay, so we've got to put that comma R at the end and we press enter. We're going to get two values because we've got a squared value. We know it's not going to be negative, so it's not that. So the R we have to use is this one. So what we're going to see is our R, so um, what's the minimum annual percentage rate? Is going to be R equals 9.5%. Okay, so that's how you calculate that one. Thank you.